Welcome to Rustic Cottage Co. I'm Julie and I hope you like my Facebook page Rustic Cottage Co, my group Rustic Cottage Co and my YouTube channel Rustic Cottage Co. This video is to inspire you. Please give the thumbs up, like, tell your friends and pass the word on. That will help my business. I much appreciate the time you're taking to enjoy this video. Please keep watching and let me know what you think in the comments and thank you again for watching Rustic Cottage Co from Julie. Have a great day. Enjoy the movie. So back from the junk room again this is box number two and I'm going to sort it into three piles. Garbage, don donations and keep paint within two weeks and put for sale so let's see what we've got in this box so there was quite the mix, mix match in that box i have a few things down here that i'm still debating had them around for a while but just the size and shape of them i think they would come in handy at some point i don't like to restore things but i might restore these and then I have many containers that I started painting and didn't finish. Most of them empty paint cans. And they do come in handy, so they may go back in the junk room. And I'm sorry, yep, they might be going back in. This bottle, I started it. I'm not sure where I was going with it. So we'll see about that one too. And this piece here... That actually will go well with something I've got in mind very soon, so I'll be using that pretty soon. These little dishes here come in handy around Valentine's. I have this bottle here, which I always use these at Halloween, so that's perfect. And then as you can see, a couple of little Easter things here, so that'll be great too. Then I found this and I did pick this up from a thrift store at one point and I wanted to kind of paint it, make it rustic, but it never seemed to kind of go with what I was doing, a little kind of modern in its look. So we'll see about that and see where I go with that. And then just down here, I don't know why I put it on the floor, but I've got a little old metal watering can. I keep getting these, I don't know, donation or picking them up from thrift stores but they're never a good sell. But I'll put this one out at springtime and see what happens. And then I picked up, I found this in the box. And I always like this one to go out around Valentine's. It's perfect colors to match some of my Valentine decor. And then this here too, I generally put with my Valentine decor. And then I found this, it's a heart shaped um, glass. And then I was thinking maybe I'll decoupage it. So we'll see about that, all right? And I think I'll do that first. So those are the items I found. So I'm gonna be doing a little bit of Valentine's and a little bit of decoupage. Now I have this heart and it does actually have quite a pattern here, but I'm gonna see if I can put my napkin that I have here onto this and uh, still keep it as a little candy dish so I'm going to be putting it on the back. Also I do not have any Mod Podge so I've been telling people I've heard you can use pretty much white glue. I've been uh, told also to add a little water so I have a little tiny bit of water in here and I'm going to just add some white glue to the water and then I'm going to decoupage the same way as I usually do and see what happens. So I'm just going to get a little, I don't even need that much probably, but such a big bottle, that's how it came out. Anyway, I'm just going to stir it around a little bit in this water. The white glue is quite thick and just get some on my brush and I'm just going to put it onto the bottom of this and I'm just making sure I don't need it heavy but because it's got such a pattern on the bottom 
I'm actually making sure I'm in all the crevices here. And I want to make sure I have this up the right way and that most of these beautiful flowers are actually on the bottom. So let's do this kind of like that. Just let it drop it down. I'm using the paper, paper, plastic bag method and I'm just pushing into all the detail of this pretty bottom of this glass jar. I'm using the plastic bag as if I was just using my fingers, I could maybe stick to the glue and pull it back off. Using the plastics prevents that happening and you pulling it back off and maybe possibly ripping it. So I'm just gonna now pull that off. And this is what I have right now. And I'm going to, and that's what it looks like inside. I'm gonna let that dry. And then I will show you what I do next when it's dry. So this is now dried nicely and I'm going to do the same thing again. I have some glue and some water just mixed together. And I'm just going to put it over the top. sure I get the outsides there too and while it's wet I'm just going to pull away the edges a little dry here Just going to do the same. But just making sure you don't rip it too much. Now leave it again to dry completely. I'm actually going to now leave this overnight and let it dry and then come back tomorrow and show you the next step. So next I'm going to be just painting the bottom, the very bottom, now it's dry, um, with some white chalk paint. And I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint the sides or not yet. I'm gonna decide that once this is dry, the paint's dry and have a look. So right now I'm just painting the bottom and it's gonna take two coats. And when this is dry, the paint's gonna need a clear coat again on top and I'll just use a regular um, paint clear coat. So I'm just doing one cover and then let that dry. Don't overwork it in case it's quite thin in places. Just get it all on, do one coat, let it dry, and then we'll do a second coat. I will be, uh, well, I have thrown out quite a few things. I didn't find anything to, for donation. Um, a lot of it was either throw out, put back in the junk um, room for when I want to do something junk, and then the rest is gonna be used soon. It was kind of more of an Easter, Valentine's box so that's perfect timing for finding it and that's why at the beginning of the year it's always good to go through your junk room, junk boxes or even your junk drawer and just do a complete clean and sort out for the year. 
picked these three little containers up not that long ago and the reason I like them is because I like to decorate in odd numbers. It gives a nice um, balance for the eye. And also I find glass and white and neutrals are very nice in the winter time. The glass sparkle from the light and the whites and then just to be brought down with some neutrals as well kind of gives it that wintry look. So I like to do that, you know, in January. Um, generally, when I have glass, it doesn't sell for me. But if I paint it, it sells. But I don't always want to paint it. So occasionally, especially as I say in January, I like to play with things that are glass and have some fun and create some displays. Um, just for my pleasing eye, just for it to look nice. And if someone wants to purchase, that's great. But that's not the reason that I pick up glass that I like. You know, it's not the main reason because I know it's a hard sell. But these three, I think, look great. And I'm going to show you some ideas of what you could do with them. Um, there's a few different ways we can kind of display these. And uh, this is just one, just simplicity, putting them on the coffee table, just like this. Let's see what I do next to add something simple and then just see what it looks like. So just literally putting in some little fake snow, change the complete look and gives it that crisp wintry look even more. Now I use a lot of fake snow around Christmas time, but it doesn't always have to be just Christmas time. Quite often after Christmas, I'm sick of seeing it but if you play with it right and don't have it everywhere, you can just have it in some glass. Then it looks crisp, it looks good, and it looks wintry. You can also, inside these, because it's glass, put some little tea lights, um, not the real ones, the uh, battery operated ones, and just have that flickering and it looks so pretty. Simplicity of this, just putting three little glass containers. These have lids which give them some more interest in look and style and shape but you could just use three mason jars. I did that on my own coffee table at Christmas time on a little bit of snow and just left it as three mason jars with some battery operated tea lights in them with snow and it's just simplicity that always works best. So also I find that when you have um, things like this, you could also stagger them. And I use different candle stands that I think for this painted white would work best. And just literally put one, the tallest one, making sure it stays on nicely. It's not going to stay on nicely. Hold on, let me find a different one that has a better bottom. And then the next one in front of that, again, as I say, staggering nicely. Let's bring you around here so we can see. And then the bottom one, literally just putting in front of everything. So you've got everything nicely staggered. You could do it in different ways. And um, let's kind of put this one here here, I think. Making sure they're almost touching but not quite touching. And just have them in different tiers like that. What do you think of that? Do you prefer them out the three in a row? Do you prefer them staggered? Next, would be starting to turn the winter decor into Valentine's. And I'm not the type to do lots of pink and red and gimmicky style I call, gimmicky everyone each to their own, Valentine's. I only do a hint of Valentine's as it really doesn't sell. People that want to 
buy valentines generally they don't buy rustic valentines they make it themselves so i make little hearts like this out of scraps of material <coughs> oh excuse me and i just use the template from i i draw it onto a piece of old newspaper I cut out the size and shape I want, and then I put that um, piece of newspaper on the material, mark it out on the material, and then I make sure the material is folded in half. So when I'm cutting the material, I'm cutting two exactly the same. So I use any kind of material. As you can see in this one here, I've got a burlap one. And then on this one here, little heart here, I actually used an old sweater. I use this old sweater from uh, Christmas decorations and fall pumpkin decorations. You, you can use any. I like sweater material and I like the burlap material just for texture. If you want a little bit more colour, you could do pinks and reds or you could even do more kind of check and gingham. Um, anything that you wish to suit your own decor. And all I do is I keep the snow inside and I just put in right inside the actual heart and then put this one in here, push it right down into the snow, put the lid on and we have some actual rustic valentine's um, decor. I would maybe do them slightly smaller to see that they are valentine's hearts. They're a little harder to see just if uh, I maybe I made them slightly big. If I was doing them again, I would make them slightly smaller. But as I say, I don't sell these. So I actually just like to have them just in there like this and pushed in and you can see the different materials. Um, again, you can stagger them, you can have them in a row and it's just as simple as that to change from winter decor to a slight little bit of Valentine's. And uh, if you don't have these kind of jars, you can just literally make their little hearts And put them on a tray of some kind and just stagger them nicely on a tray like this and just have them on your coffee table just some little hearts choose your favorite dish and just put them on like that you can maybe push them up a little so that they're all stood up you know different things you can do maybe put something behind them and uh, I have a glass one here. This one's glass too, but it's a yellowish colour. So if you're not into that, I think it's nice. Um, but if you want it more to go with the glass style, then you just put them onto whichever little tray you have. And they're simple to make, as I say, just with the material. I cut them out. I use a glue gun. You can sew them, but I don't sew. So I just use a glue gun to stick the edges. And literally inside, I just use, when I'm doing the decoupage and I pull the napkins apart, I have the backing of the napkins. I keep those and I just put those inside just for a little bit of thickness. You don't want them too thick. You really don't. You know, you just want to give them some movement, some, um, you know, just so they're not flat. But don't make them too wide and bulky. It's not the intention. And uh, I think for this display, if I was keeping the glass here, I kind of like having the yellow one. Just makes things a little different. And there you go, that's how I turn little coffee table into Valentine's. But I think I'll put them back in my three little jars. Just like that. Uh, 
as you can see now that I have finished this reverse decoupage little I would call it candy bowl I would put it on maybe coffee table put some little white and pink candies in there um, I think it came out great the inside is just plain glass and everything we've done was put onto the outside so the inside can have whatever you want in it I've matched it with this other basket type heart shape in white and uh, I think it looks great so let's finish up this uh, mantle and make it a little romantic valentine's started from what used to be our winter look is now transforming as i've always said i like to uh, decorate in odd numbers so i just finished it off here this is a fake rose and all i did was found an old book that has old pages in them and i just put a little of my uh, aging on it and then rolled it into a cone and put the actual rose in there and then just finished it off next to the other two heart beauties and we have some romance now has gone on to mantle what do you think The mantle is now finished. I have some winter stuff on one end, some romance on the other, and definitely romance in the middle with the hearts and the romantic roses. Um, you could pretty much say that the Valentine's has crept in and the winter is moving out. I think it looks great. What do you think? The reverse decoupage came out amazing. I love this piece and I hope you liked it too. Give it the thumbs up and uh, tell all your friends how to reverse decoupage. I'm Julie from Rustic Cottage Co. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and uh, thumbs up. Thank you.